Mercury, Hermes to me, messenger of God Almighty. What need of we of a flitting, flickering breeze of a girlish boy to attend and deliver those messages too rich and ephemeral for mortal ears to hear? That's just it. The flit, flit, flit of one whose work will never be quit. For the tongues change as the days change, so too the tools and the spools of yarn to tie a bow around a fable. Let us be able, the mind must be watched. For what is Mercury if not mind? How do you think? What mechanics run your mental miasma? What mind-forged manacles hold our new century in shackles? Flit, flit. It is oh so quick. Mercurius, he or she, the androgene, darts to and fro. It sets the nerves on edge. It is our very nervous system incarnate. What a brave little one, dancing so close to our father's son, never straying too far. Give, 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 take, 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 the lord of copper and all coinage, tithing and conniving, the neutrality tinged with hue of fiendy foes, or the mellow genius. A marvellous gift the mind is to discern, interpret, calculate, litigate and placate. And then those glamorous fools who use it for music and perceiving the divine, who gift it back as sweetly as songbirds, who are piecing it all together through lyric and strong words. Tricky trap of universal hilarity, mirroring. Gleeful, the pitfalls of humanity, human errors, as we stumble and learn, taking turns to be humble and bumble through digital dilemmas of the soul. Tracking this route towards whole, as the heart yearns, mercury unfurling life as a fern, seeing patterns, pretty patterns, lighting lanterns, as it flits through the details loosely harnessed, and on course this worthy servant wants no more nor less than to play, investigate and convey. Come with me and serve yourself heartily. Hello, welcome back to The Ineffable Else. Hello, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be continuing our series about Mercury and I'd like to welcome you to my garden and there is honestly nothing more sublimely logical than a Spanish garden in spring, a Spanish evening in springtime is just so magical and just to be able to be outside and enjoying the plants and the greenery and the birds and the birds and everything is is marvelous i advise you to go and watch the introduction video about mercury which i have on this channel and that gives you more of a feeling for the planet itself and how it moves it's extremely mutable it's extremely dependent on the sign that it's in and with it being in such a fixed earth sign as Taurus, this can sometimes make for quite a stubborn mind. This is how you process information and also how you hold on to it, how you utilize it and how you communicate. As Mercury is at home in both Virgo and Gemini, it's hard to say which one this would lean more towards. I feel more Virgo slightly because of the earth element. It has that Virgo-esque quality and yet it's playful in a Gemini sense. It's it's a lovely place for the mind to be. It's it's uh, being sure of yourself and having that certainty. It can be useful to uh, encourage adaptability. When you have Mercury in this placement, this will also mean that your sun has to be in either Aries, Taurus or Gemini. So this will be the messenger between your sun and your, your mind. The mind is how you express who you are in your essence. And is there an alignment between your sun and your Mercury? It's worth looking at. It's worth feeling into. Sometimes we don't express ourselves in the way that we actually feel ourselves to be internally. What is your your medium, what is your communication style? Taurus is the ruler of the throat, so are you a good singer? This brings to mind someone such as Adele, you know, she is the ultimate Taurus 
uh, very gregarious and able to express herself through the throat. And are you a craftsperson? Do you work with your hands? This is material after all, and material wealth and the management of wealth. Organizational skills, how do you organize yourself and, and how, how good are you at putting things in order? The interesting thing with Mercury is it's all about expression of who you are and that can also be through fashion, through clothes, through your living environment, through the things that you value and showing your valuables off. Do you wear a lot of jewellery? How do you express who you are through any of the different mediums that we have for communication, whether that be writing, in, in for all forms of literature, if it's tweeting, if it's expressing yourself in a, in a quick way or in something that's more eternal and everlasting, has more substance. Sometimes it can with, with a Taurus placement. Of course, this will also apply to you if you have Mercury in the second house and also Mercury conjunct with Venus, which is a lovely combination because Mercury is very adaptable. So it will ultimately take on the quality of whatever it is with and if it's sitting there with Venus it will be not argumentative, not uh, chasing the next win, the next verbal battle. It will be much more about how can I bring more peace, more diplomacy and more beauty into the situation? How can I communicate that with, with more people? It's a lovely thing to have and don't take it for granted and don't escape the fact that other people don't have this beautiful quality. I say this to people with the moon in Taurus, you know, it can be easy to assume that everybody thinks in the same way. I don't mean they think the same things, but they think in the same way as you, the same process. It can be nice and logical here and straightforward. And for other people, it's a much more foggy, much more of a cloud. For you, it, it's very straightforward. And that's, that's a wonderful thing to have brought into the world. The way that you can communicate these beautiful things about the universe is is fabulous, and I, I would love to see your creations. Anything Tory, Tor, I would I don't know how to say this Torian, Tor, Taurus esque, is going to have that Venusian quality, whether or not your Mercury is conjunct with Venus, and also if Mercury is sitting in your second house, this is about your values and about physical things, items, mind is matter. And how does your mind get reflected in the things around you? I'm sitting in this garden. I'm fairly sure Ricardo has got this placement. My partner has got um, Mercury in Taurus. And you see that come through in the way he's created this garden. And he's cultivated it. And it's so beautiful. Gorgeous. So logical. It makes so much sense. And now we have little by little experimented with different plants what works here and then found well what's the thing that is actually very expensive in the supermarket that here will grow in abundance and i can take little by little and it's it's green leaves it's salad leaves rather than going for a big cauliflower that you will only have one of so it's that combination of values practicality things being very logical and also exquisitely beautiful and healthy and good in, in an all-round sense. Mercury is of course about logic and divine logic and how we, we come to different conclusions through a process, a very beautiful process of, of analysis and how you analyze situations. There is a dexterity and a skillfulness with this, with this placement and a, a very, very great ease of acquisition of wealth, very fortunate place. It's, it's a lovely thing because Mercury is that messenger from God, it's Hermes. And the message, it, the message it is going to inevitably come back with is that you are deserving, you can do it this way, and this will be the easiest, smoothest route to get there. It's not very convoluted, it's, it's quite, uh, as with anything Venusian in quality, it has that, that sacred geometry feel to it, even if Mercury is somehow flitting in all different directions. If you look at the pattern between Mercury and Venus, it does create a harmony. Everything harmonizes when Venus is involved. You'll ultimately be a good trader and very savvy at shopping and very good at finding the good deals and just making that... Uh, mm, thinking of Erica Badu and a $7 dress, just uh, making it fly, like making it amazing. Um, 
even if you've you found it <laughs> next to a bin it's like you see the value in things that other people won't see and you make it work there can be jealousy there can be a lot of green in this a lot of green eyes <laughs> and enviousness from others um, because there is so much chaos in the collective mind I'm sure in yours as there is in mine it's very important to meditate to bring it back to the self and to your your core values that lie behind the miasma the fog that's here and bring it down into something that's very unchanging the thing that doesn't change your views your perceptions your opinions they will change and that and allow them to change but your core values who you are what you believe in what you feel to be true in your heart your main trajectory that can stay the same even if everything else changes coming it to, to terms with change is is what mercury is all about it doesn't have a smooth um, orbit which is why that it goes in a it has a smooth orbit just not from where we're standing um, and this is that kind of you might may not see the logic um, immediately but if you investigate you'll see you'll notice and this is why Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. But that's our opportunity to go more inwards, to do things from a different perspective and to accept the fact that there is this change. Even if you do have this quite stable and consistent way of processing information. And the core function of Mercury is to convey things, to convey what is what is underneath, what is maybe voiceless. It gives voice to that which is voiceless. And this is a beautiful place for musicians and, and craftspeople of all kinds, artists, anything to do with literature, writing, poetry. And I, I, don't, I don't think of um, fast, flighty, flitty words. I think of things with substance that last, that stay with us. Of course, also watch that this hasn't been, watch that this hasn't been jaded and there can also be a tendency for these very characteristics that, that are strong within you for valuing things, valuing your possessions, valuing the possessions of others that can also get distorted. And when we're young, we can maybe drift off into the world of crime and theft and not respecting others' possessions. And later on, maybe high uh, white collar crime. That, that can definitely be something with this signature is, is having being scrupulous of, of la allowing your, your values to be diminished in favor of just knowing the quickest way to acquire wealth. And it has to be, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And just because you have this uh, inner, inner knowing and the, the message is uh, in, from your intuition about how best to go about doing something, make sure it's also aligned with, with a loving sense and a loving use of your of your will and your mind and your heart all together in one there could also be a, a temptation to live in the mind here and ignore the body and as much as as there can be a lot of insight and understanding about what the body needs and what's the best thing to eat the best things to consume the best things to surround yourself with in the home the best materials to have on your skin there's also a somewhat of a tendency to gloss over the truth, to sugarcoat things, to think things are okay when they're not, and ignore the body and live away from the body. And it's very important that we get down in the body. And as always, whatever planet we're dealing with, whatever archetype, bring it back into the heart. There's much more information in terms of an energetic center, the heart, the guts, the chest, the, the body itself is connected to all of the limbs, all of the organs. If you're just living up here, this mercurial energy can zip you off into the into the cosmos and then you lose you lose track of of what's physically going on down here. So so keep it grounded, keep it earthy. Get your get your your feet touching the earth and feel that connection. Feel how grounded you can make your mind because it will open up to the roots of your ancestors, to looking and analyzing things from the past, analyzing your history and being able to see a bigger picture. And in that sense, you'll then know what what best decision to make. It's a very informative place here. 
and mercury is the lord of all coinage and copper this is the material mercury is in relation to is is metal and and money and with taurus what are your values and often we can value our financial gain as higher than than anything else that is a mistake and actually a lot of the things that we put up as being the most um highly um important and eloquent professions such as a lawyer or a doctor um, a banker these professions wouldn't need to exist if we were all living within our conscience and within our true values we would automatically know how to take the best care of our health we, diseases we would be able to feel them so easily we would be so sensitive that they wouldn't even be able to to get to a stage four state um, we would be able to resolve disputes knowing that we're all one in our hearts we wouldn't need the uh, the lawyers to come in and fight fight our corner for us this this fighting energy there's it's hard to say a world without the Martian energy I'm always keen to evolve the the Martian energy to a higher place that's what the whole Mars series was about because it doesn't always have to be about war it can be about confrontation but confrontation in a very face to face we're going to get to the bottom of this and I'm not afraid you're not afraid we can hold space for one another here it's still Martian it's still fire passion in in your face but it's not with this identification battle that goes on and likewise with banking if if we were are able to to have a, a better system for commerce and trade then we wouldn't need to hoard we wouldn't need to hold on to money and and pay for property and the wealth and everything could be distributed now i'm going down a very utopian route but things would be naturally distributed and we wouldn't need this this other middleman and this is what this type of mercury has within it it has all of these processes um these faculties within your own with your own, within your own self for how you can improve your health improve your wealth in, improve your 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 station in this in this world it doesn't that there's nothing holding you back because you you're very sure you, you have that that lack of doubt and doubt can be crippling and doubt comes with mercury when it is flitting about in too many different places and zip 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 and this helps it kind of get hold of one thing and pull it and weave it. I really think of weaving, and this is one of the the archetypes in relation to to Mercury. Is a weaver is some someone who who even is um, the first stage when you're you're getting this mass of of sheep wool, very thick and dirty and greasy, and then you spin it little by little and you smooth it out into this strand that can then be finely 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 woven and it's it's a transformation of the chaos into the the divine and it's that very earthly quality that's why it's a wonderful archetype to to connect to is is the textile uh, <laughs> i love this energy i'm feeling it now and it's a it's a marvelous place and and always with mercury it's good to pay attention to all of these different placements because it's the second fastest planet after the moon so we all experience all of these different stages that mercury goes through in any given year so why not tune in so i applaud you for having this placement it's a wonderful thing to have and please contact me for a reading everything you need to know is on the website ineffableelse.com Thank you so much.